Hey guys, we're talking today about um, just shoulder tightness and shoulder pain, and maybe just struggling, you know, with a bit of neck soreness as well. You get a lot of people that come in and they, um, uh, you know, a, a person like myself, you know, and just struggle with shoulder mobility, all right, uh, and, and just a little bit, you know, junky in the shoulder joint, and maybe sometimes pain, you know, it's coming through the front part of the delt, the shoulder. So the simplest way we can work on this and fix this up is just a little bit of regular maintenance, just working on the stress ball. So the ball's nice and soft. The softer, the softer the ball, the better in that aspect. You know, you you don't want a harder ball, spiky ball. Um, all we need to work on is that we've got two major pressure points, you know, just here in the back of the scapula. So all, all we're going to do is we're going to put the ball and um, just in towards the back of that shoulder. So just here's one pressure point, and then the other one's just lower at the bottom of the scapula. What happens is a lot of, a lot of time that um, just not, not to happen because the scapula opens and closes, and that's usually where things get pinched up, just, you know, just tissue, nerves, and tendons. And that just is just referred pain that then, you know, if you watch the scene my jumper, that's not enough. It pulls everything back. So we keep trying to move and do things, which creates, it just makes it worse, really, over time. And that's just making it tighter, and then that just puts pressure in through the neck, and sometimes, you know, our neck's all tight and out of whack. So just a little bit of regular maintenance that we can work on freeing up the shoulder joint, being a ball and socket. So it should just be loose. And um, yeah, I'll show you what we're gonna do. So we're gonna put the ball from here. Um, if, I'll just be more quick. If you're gonna put the ball from here, um, just here on the floor. So we'll go from here. I'm gonna lay down on that ball. Oh, just on that bottom end of that pressure point. Now you kind of got just got to roll around a little bit, you know, on the ball, and you'll find that point. Okay, so right, I've got that point there. Now all you're going to do is just open and close. Now you might not be able to get full range of motion, all right, but that's okay. We're going to work on that, and that's the whole goal here. The goal here is to be able to get from one end of the floor to the other end of the floor. So once you've got doing that, you repeat that process. The other way is you're going to remember, I just remember thumbs up. So you're going to open the, sh the arm up this way and try and get towards your ear. And then we're going to come back down through this side. Now, it's like when you put a sticker. Have you ever put a sticker on a wall or a, you know something and you get an air bubble? And then it's like, shit, you've got to knead you know, and push, push that air bubble out, right? So that's all we're going to do here is that knot is going to move a little bit. So we're just going to roll around, you know, scoot around a little bit towards that other pressure point, right? Find it, you might have to find it with your arm up a little bit, and then open, close, repeat the process, right? Find it, open, close, open, close, work, work it, work it, open, close, and, and just keep doing that. Now guys, if you do that, like in, uh, my recommendation is just trying to do, you know, sort of like, you know, one to two minutes each shoulder. Uh, if you do that, you know, every day, eventually you can drop this down to like, you know, just maintenance, maybe just once or twice a week sort of thing, just for good shoulder health. But if you've got a bad shoulder or struggling with tightness or anything like that, start working on it. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you know, in three weeks' time, your shoulders will be like 10 times better than what they are now. So just a simple little $2 um, stress ball, and that can, that can help you out with all these shoulder issues. All right, guys, if you need any more, comment below or got any questions, don't hesitate to ask.